Hi, I'm Darren Bartholomew, your student body president, and you're listening to Philly's number one college radio station, WHIP. All right, that's us, Philly's number one college radio station, WHIP. 215-204-9449 is our number. Matt Brown played for the Temple Owls, and he was explosive. He was dynamic in the backfield. He was tough on kick returns, and he was the true definition of Temple tough. Now he's playing out there in the CFL a year removed from the Temple football program. He had a big kick return up against Louisville last year. The Owls will play Louisville on Saturday at noon, and WHIP will be on the call for that broadcast. So let's go out to Canada right now and welcome in former Temple Owl, Matt Brown. Matt, it's Zach Gell for the main event in Philadelphia. How are you? I'm pretty good. How you doing? Well, it's it's great to talk to you. It's great to hear you back on in the Philadelphia airwaves. How have you been? Is is life good in Canada? Yeah, life is definitely good in Canada. Uh, I'm playing for the Rough Riders, Saskatchewan. So you know, uh, you know, just getting in, learning to play receiver. Because you know, I, I came from uh, being a running back. So you know, I'm out here playing receiver. They got me in some space. You know, it just feels good. So I'm ready. You know. Yeah, and you could definitely fit into a lot of places. And like I mentioned in the opening, you are explosive, and that was the appeal that maybe Greg Schiano even saw when he gave you that contract for that brief period with the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, what do you want to bring to a team? If I say who's Matt Brown, if I'm an NFL coach, what would you say? i say he's the, uh, the toughest player on our team. You know, he just goes the hardest. Like, you know, I think it's more so like a, a, a everyday grind the everyday mentality that you're going to come in there and get better. You know, I just want him to know, like, when he looks at me, he has a soldier on his squad. Like, man, I can call on this guy anytime, you know. Like, he's accountable. You know what I'm saying? He's going to make his play, you know, when it presents itself. And, you know, I just want him to be able to call on me and know that, you know, I got his back. So, and, and, you know, I expect the same from him. You know? Yeah, no, I, I totally understand, and, and you've had um, an interesting path to get to this point in your career. You walked on Temple University, you established yourself as um, a, a fantastic back, and people mention you here all the time since even after your playing days, but tell me the story about what happened with your passport, because I was reading about this in the off season, and an expired passport, if I read this right, led to your contract with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? Yeah, I, um... You know, I was supposed to fly out to Saskatchewan um, for camp, you know. Uh, but Tampa Bay had ended up calling me back, and they wanted me to come down there. And the day I was supposed to fly out, I went to the airport. And um, when I got there, they told me that they couldn't let me go through because something was wrong with my passport. So I didn't really know, but I had, like, staples in the side of them, which means I guess it expired or something. So she, they told me, like, you know, your uh, passport expired. You have to get another one. So I called my agent, and, um, you know, they, they told me to go up to Philly and go to the 24-hour uh, passport spot. So I went up there, and while I was um, waiting for it, I went back to Temple Cactus um, to the dorms, you know, just to chill out. And I actually got a call from my agent. He said, man, don't even worry about your passport, you know, because um, you don't need one to fly to Tampa Bay. They want you to come down there right now and sign a contract. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I had to end up leaving from Philly that moment, and and uh, driving back to Baltimore to go to BWI and fly out within, like, uh, two or three hours of when they called me, you know. So you were an undrafted free agent. You got that brief tryout with the Buccaneers, and now you're back in the CFL with the Rough Riders. I know you want to get back into the NFL. How valuable was the experience uh, in that brief time of being in there with Greg Schiano and everything the Buccaneers do down there in Tampa Bay? Um, it was really valuable, you know, because it's like, it's not, it was a learning experience for me because, like, I had to learn that it's not about the talent because I would be next to guys and I'd be like, yeah, I got this spot. Like, this dude that work harder than me, he doesn't lift harder than me, he doesn't run harder than me, and he dance harder than me. I mean, he, he definitely doesn't play better than me, you know what I mean? So, you know, you just feel confident and comfortable, but you have to understand that it's not always about you, you know what I'm saying? It's about the circumstance sometimes. Like, a guy can sign on the team, and you might be the last guy that gets cut. Like, had nothing to do with your ability, you know. But if you don't have that big name, like that that name that brought you from high school to college and college to the NFL, like, you're not a guaranteed hole, you know what I'm saying? And, like, I was watching ESPN. It's hard for me. Like, I don't really watch the NFL anymore because I just feel like, like, man, I could be out there. I, I know dudes that's out there. I played with dudes that, you know, I used to 
to look in their eyes like, man, let's go. Like, let's get it today. You know, I used to motivate them that I watch on TV. So sometimes it's hard for me to watch it. But, you know, when it's it, it just, you have to understand that this is a business. It's more so a business than it is a game. You know what I mean? So, uh, I mean, learning that, it was hard. But just, you know, it, it prepares you and it just it helps you grow. You know, and it, it teaches you, like, even though you might be friends with people or friends with coaches or anything, you know, they'll cut you because it's their job on the line. It's, just, it's a business. Matt Brown joins us on the hotline, Philly's number one college radio station, WHIP. And, Matt, I'm sure there's a bunch of guys with experience from the NFL level now playing at the CFL. Have you talked to some of your teammates about that path to try to eventually get back to the NFL? Oh, yeah, yeah, I've talked to a lot of teammates. You know, they tell me that I'm still young, you know, because a lot of guys out here, you know, they're older. They're not like – they last longer up here than they do in the NFL. So – you know, I talk to him. He say, man, you young. You know, you got time. You got time. And, uh, you know, I, I signed a two-year deal. So, after this year, I have one year left. And, you know, then I decide what I do. But, you know, I'm going to go where the money is. But, like, I me, mean, I'm a loyalty person. Like, you know, if, if I can stay on this team and keep making money and, you know, make a little more money here and might not be able to make as much in the NFL, like, I stay here and do that because the fans out here, they love me. You know, they, they good people. Like, like, I don't know. I just... I feel some type of way towards the NFL, you know what I mean? <laughs> so maybe, you know, when they offer me an opportunity, I might change. But this, I, I'm, I'm here. I'm right here. I'm doing what I got to do here. You know, they're paying me, you know, and I'm a, I'm a make place for them out here. This is who I feel, you know, obligated to, loyal to. So, you know. Uh, let's get back to your former team, and that was the Temple Owls. Uh, this is a group that starts off the year 0-4. Uh, many people thought they were going to win Fordham. Uh, they thought they were going to beat Idaho last week, being 7.5-point favorites, but they've struggled on both sides of the ball. Uh, what's your take on Matt Rule? Uh, have you known him a lot? I think he's the right man for the job, yeah, but when you hear about the, the name Matt Rule, what do you think he brings to this Temple football program? Man, Coach Rule, he brings a lot to the Temple football program, like, you know, experience, like, Coach Wu was coached in the NFL, you know, he's coached with a, under a lot of different coaches, you know, I remember when Coach Wu was a position coach, you know what I mean, all the way up to now, like, he's definitely worked his way up, and he deserves it, and he brings a lot of experience to the team, you know what I mean, but it's just, it's not about Coach Wu, it's about the team, you know what I'm saying, like, he's going, he's doing what he's supposed to do, the team just has to do what they're supposed to do, like, all these games have been close games, they've, they've, they've lost, though, you know what I mean, except for uh, the first game of the season at Notre Dame, but, like, these games have been close games, and it's like, they have it in them, we just have to find that turning point, like, we have to, you know what I mean, somebody has to step up and, be, and say, I'm going to be the playmaker, regardless of what happens today, I'm going to make plays, you know what I mean, and, like, Tyler Maddie Cabbage, like, he's a beast. He's, he's an animal out there. You know what I mean? 24 tackles, like, that's incredible. Like, he, he's just an animal out there. We need more of that. You know, Kenny Harper, he's running the ball. He's getting a touchdown. We need more of that. You know, we need guys that's going it, to – it's not so much people get into and think, you know, the coaching, oh, the coach changed what they all for. No, it's not about that. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been under Coach Wu. I've been around, you know, him and the guys. And I know what he brings forth, and it's nothing but a positive energy, experience, you know, wisdom. He just, it's just that the guys have to do what they're supposed to do now. You know what I'm saying? Like, they gonna, he's going to put you in your position. You got to make your plays. Like, last game, you know, there was a, it was a couple plays that we left on the field. We could have beat Idaho. That game was so good. Like, we could have beat them. You know what I'm saying? We could have beat, we should have beat for them. But it's guys got to make their plays. The coach can't come on the field and do that for them. That's where they had to take that initiative. When I went out there, I used to strap up and say, listen, regardless of what happens today, I'm going to go so hard, somebody's going to feel me in the stands. And it just has to be that mindset, you know what I mean? And when you look at uh, the game, you don't see that out, out there. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not that many guys that's taking that initiative to step up and say, yo, I got it. It's on me. I'm going to put the team on my back today. You know, so I think that's what it's really about. So you were a leader on this team. You were tough as nails. You were five five. You were told, "Hey, you can't play in college football. You can't play Division One. Uh, you'll never make it to the next level." And you came to Temple, and you had an outstanding career. 
How would you challenge your teammates if you were still on this uh, team right now to get the best out of them, to get 11 Tyler Medikevich's on the field, to get 11 Kenny Harpers? How would you challenge it if you were still on this team? Man, I mean, I'd be calling dudes out, you know. I'd be just – I'd just be uh... – a jerk to everybody, you know what I'm saying, until somebody responded, you know, like, just, res- like, somebody has to respond, like, this can't keep happening how it's happening, something has to change, you know, and I text guys on the team and stuff like that, because, you know, they're, they're my close buddies, they're like my little brothers, man, you know, so I, I, I text them, man, you got to step up, somebody has to take initiative, like, I wish I could just jump through the TV and run on the field, like, listen, y'all better turn up right now, <laughs> you know, but I can't, it's just like, Somebody has to do that, and if I was still there, yeah, I'd just be a, 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 a a-hole to everybody. I'd be a jerk, and, like, you know, I'd be challenging dudes. I'd be out there at practice starting fights. Like, we, this fire has to be built. If somebody has to start the fire, you know what I mean? It can burn, but somebody has to start it. So it's like, yeah, man, I would definitely be challenging, challenging people, you know. Now, on the way out here is Matt Brown joins us on the hotline, Philly's number one college radio station, WHIP. This is the main event with Zach Yell flying solo today. Uh, one of your former teammates, Bernard Pierce, he's having a pretty good start off to his NFL career. Won a Super Bowl last year. Now has 56 touches for 151 yards and two touchdowns. Do you still keep in touch with uh, Bernard Pierce? Yeah, yeah. I still talk to Bernard from time to time. You know, that's my man. I mean, it's but. It, Everybody knows Bernard is going to produce. Bernard is like a freak. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's just a monster. That's what he does, you know? He has a body for it. He, he definitely has a talent for it, the speed, power, all that. You know, so, people, you know, since I don't watch that much of the NFL, people tell me, like, oh, you know, Bernard did other, uh, had this many yards or whatever. I, I already know. I believe it. <laughs> you can tell me he had 400 rushing yards. I believe it because that's just that's how he rolls. You know, he produces. Well, Matt, we really appreciate a few minutes today. Thanks so much. Uh, we're all rooting for you here at Temple University. We hope you get back into that yeah, NFL. Dude. Best of luck in the CFL with the Rough Riders right now. And uh, I hear the passion in your voice. I know you want to see some Temple wins. Yeah. I, I know you want to run I some touchdowns. See some wins, man. Right? <laughs> well, we appreciate a few some. minutes. All right, no problem. Matt Brown.